Well, you hear it mentioned in our next weather forecasts from time to time, a warning of rip currents at our beaches. But do you know what to do if you actually get caught up in one? Mm -hmm. NOAA estimates 100 people are killed and tens of thousands of people are rescued from rip currents every year nationwide. CBS News Miami's Nakaya Carrero got into the water to show you how to survive a rip current. Do you know what to do if you find yourself in a rip current? I do. Um, you're supposed to swim sideways and not again, or towards it, I should say. So yeah, you swim sideways out of it. Honestly, no, because this is my first time like in like Florida. So you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to tell me. While some people may have an idea of how to navigate rip currents, others have found out the hard way. Like true terror. Um, and I just thought, okay, someone told me at one point, swim at a diagonal if this ever happens to you. And I did, and I swam really, really hard. Cressa like Phillips hard, so. isn't alone in her fear of rip currents. Miami Beach's Ocean Rescue had a total of 400 rescues caused by rip currents in 2023. When you're looking at the water, the area that has the crashing waves is actually a safer place than where it's flat and dark because that's the deeper channel of water where the rip current is. A rip current is a narrow channel of water that is fast moving. According to Miami Beach Ocean Rescue, identifying a rip current may be hard for the untrained eye. The water goes through the low-lying area and it finds the path of least resistance, so it goes through the deeper channel, which causes that narrow channeled funnel of water that goes away from shore. So it's not pulling you under, it's pulling you away from the beach. And on this day, I found out how strong that current can be as I was shown how to get out of a rip current. A busy day on South Beach packed with people and no one had any clue there was a rip current right next to them. The sand underneath our feet was gone as our bodies were being pulled away from shore. The first thing you should do is stay calm, okay? Keep your head above water and float. If you're staying above water and floating, you can wave or yell for help from the lifeguards. As the rip current dissipates, you're going to want to swim parallel to shore. You never want to swim straight in because you're in the rip current and you can cause you to tire and maybe drown. So wait till it dissipates and then swim parallel to shore. After swimming out of the current, I felt like I just swam a marathon. I had a trained rescuer there watching over me, making sure we were okay. Now imagine doing it to save your own life. When you come out to the beach, you should always swim near a lifeguard. Ask them where the most safest place to swim is, and they'll tell you. Usually it's in front of them. Casanova says rip currents are year-round and are the reason behind 80% of beach rescues. In Miami Beach, Nakaya Carrero, CBS News, Miami.